Right. We are live at the Grammy Museum, where we have just announced the nominees for the Revolver Magazine Golden Globe. Golden Globe. You always say Golden Globe. <laughs> Golden Globe. Golden Globe. <laughs> the Golden God Award. And we are speaking with the legendary drummer, Vinnie Apis. How are you? Good. Thank you for such a nice introduction. I love it. <laughs> tell, me, tell me what you got going on new. Well, I got a new band, and uh, it's called Kill Devil Hill. It's with Rex Brown from Pantera. He's playing bass on it. And then we got two new guys, Mark Zavon, Dewey Bragg. Dewey's on vocals, Mark's on guitar. So it's half of uh, people that have been there and half of some new people. And it sounds great. It's a really cool thing. So the album will be out like sometime in April. Wow. Now, you've also been a legendary drummer playing with so many people. You know, I wonder how how is it feel just being from the music business from then till now? Yeah, I, I started it a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> It's interesting to see. Sometimes it's, it's, it's really cool that I've gotten to see the transition from when I saw it, it was 16-track tape, you know, all the way to Pro Tools, and then back to tape, you know. Now it's, like, cool to have 24-track machine in the studio to record in. So it's, it's, it's cool to see that all this technology and all the, the – and music has changed, too. Players have changed. I think players have gotten a lot more technical. Some more things to learn, so it's a different world. Now, do you think we'll see a project coming up soon from you and Carmine? Uh, yeah, Carmine, my brother. We got a thing going called Drum Wars, and uh, it's it's a com it's a rock show basically. It's not a war of drums. Uh, there is a war in there, but we do a bunch of drum pieces, and then in between we play all the songs from our history. So I play Dio Sabbath. He plays Ozzy and some. Uh, a couple of heavy Rod Stewart songs. They made them heavier, and then Jeff Beck and Blue Murder. So we combine everything, and it's a great show. And at the end, it's a big drum battle where we kill each other. Oh, wow. Yeah. When can we see this show in L.A.? Well, it's we're going to Europe first, so maybe after the summer we'll be back in L.A. Yeah, yeah. It's drumwars.com is a site. You'll, there'll be dates up there. So. And how important do you think this award is just to celebrate metal music? Uh, I think it's, it's, it's important. I think just being recognized that... It's being recognized at the Grammy Museum and at the Golden Gods Award. So uh, it's nice to know that people are paying attention to it. After all these years, it's never gone away, you know. It's always been here, so it's good. That's great. And lastly, you aspire so many drummers. What drummers do you like to listen to? I like, uh, say my, my guys were like Buddy Rich, Billy Cobham, uh, those kind of guys, uh, Mitch Mitchell and John Bonham, of course. You know, and there's a lot of new guys now that are just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, that's great. Well, too, many too, <laughs> too many names. Too many names. Well, yeah. you gave us some good insight. It was definitely nice talking to you. You too. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, have a good day.